carbon dioxide, look at the large digits, zero to 100% of CO2. You may be in the business of packaging fruit, dairy, and you are using carbon dioxide to flush and create an inert environment so your vegetables, so your product can have a longer shelf life. But when you're packing, you wanna make sure that it's actually being flushed. And the only way to do that is with a headspace analyzer just like this guy now look folks this is becoming an industry standard we are selling many 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 of these headspace analyzers and why dr cos because they are easy to use no complicated training required to your staff to your employees and it's one button operation it comes with a large display built-in pump so the air is drawn through the needle through the filter and into the unit folks pretty simple there's no bells or whistles it's very straightforward it has a large battery so it lasts hours upon hours working in your factory and you're good to go and of course wonderful support from our staff here at forensics detectors now Dr. Cos, what do we get with this unit? You get your nice carry case with the unit, so you're nice and organized. You get your analyzer with needle and filter. You get your scepters, which are very important. You place them on the product, and then you put the needle through, and I'll show you, just hang around, and at the end, I'll show you how that happens. I'll give you a demo. And you get your charger, you get your cable usb cable you get your user manual very nice color just in case you want to train your staff members here it is and also you get your calibration certificate to calibrate the units here in los angeles to nist traceable gas sources which means the unit will be accurate you could be assured that it's showing you the correct carbon dioxide values folks what we're going to do is a quick test to green beans Okay, here we are folks, we have the carbon dioxide headspace analyzer, we have green beans flushed, we take our scepters, one scepter, make sure you pop it on nicely, and make sure it adheres very strongly onto the packaging, we have our unit operating, the pump is on, so it turns on once you start up the unit, no more buttons are needed after that, we have the tubing connected, okay and it's quite easy let me just show you that it comes off there's a barb fitting and it then comes on okay folks it comes on now at the end we have our filter and our needle now when the cap is off the needle make sure you're very careful i repeat please make sure you're very careful now when you're not using it please make sure to put the cap on okay now when it's time to take a sample I'll just come from this side so we can see the display, okay? Um, we come in on an angle, very important folks, to come in on an angle. You don't go straight down, you wanna come in on an angle. And you will hear, once it goes through the rubber, you will hear the unit strain a little bit. And then soon after, you'll see the numbers going up as it is, folks, as it is. Now, usually vegetables, dairy products are flush with carbon dioxide or a mix of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Um, I'm expecting this to be about 15%-ish or so. That's quite standard from all my tests that I've done in the past. Um, and look, we got a good confirmation. As it's pumping through, you'll notice the volume of the packaging decreasing because it's sucking the air through the analyzer, folks, okay? That's the first thing. Now, the question is, Dr. Cos, when do I take my measurement? You take it when it's somewhat stable. It takes about one minute. Sometimes it takes about 30 seconds. Okay, so in a few more seconds, we could conclude we have CO2, about 18% of volume, folks, okay? So after one minute, bang, you would be good to go. You would take out the needle. You wanna put the cap on and also, at that time, turn off the pump, okay, folks? You wanna turn off the pump. Now, if you go back to the main screen, you'll notice there is still CO2 because we turned off the pump. Now, if you wanna flush it to take it back to zero, just continue with the pump on, but you wanna make sure the cap's off because no air can go through to flush the unit. And when the motor is straining quite a bit, 
you will get a beep, okay folks? It's telling you I need to survive, it's telling you I need fresh air to flush through. So make sure the cap is off when you're flushing it through to bring it back to zero. When you turn it off and you're storing, make sure the cap is on, I guess, again, to reduce any chances of injury or poking or anything silly like that that um, can possibly happen. I hope that all makes sense, folks, and I would like to encourage you to always use your scepter and to make sure the units are calibrated between 6 to 12 months. Okay, very important to make sure your unit is accurate. And the only way to do that is to make sure you have a good maintenance program, a good calibration program. Bring it in back to us or you can purchase the calibration kit so you can calibrate it yourself on a more frequent basis. Not a problem at all. All right, folks. Thanks again. Be well, be safe and see you soon.